All right, and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to install a DHCP server on CentOS. This is only going to be for IP version 4. I will make another video later on, later in date, using IPv6. So let's get right down to it, shall we? So the first thing is, is you, depending on your scenario, uh, you might have a special way of doing it you like. Uh, say, for example, you like using sudo. But to make things much easier for anyone who's new on doing this, I'm just going to go straight into root. So you want to do sudo and then a dash. Put in your password. So, okay, so now I'm root. So next is you want to do yum upgrade or whatever. Uh, this is just so you have all the nest, uh, you have all your packages uh, new and ready to go, so that way you know uh, you aren't using old uh, packages for uh, for your server and for the software that you're using. Uh, I've already done that, so I'm going to skip that step because it does get it uh, takes a little bit depending on your internet connection. So the next thing you want to do is you want to do yum install DHCP. So once you get the packages, confirm that, and now it's installed. Next you want to do is you want to do nano etc dhcp dhcpd.config. And as you can see in my little corner here, I already have some text for doing the DHCP server uh, ready to go. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. So once... Uh, so once I get this started, I will get an IP address scheme of 192.168.20. Uh, the DHCP server decides. So it could give me an address of 100, or it could give me an address of 101. It all depends. And then the domain name will show up as demo.org. So next you want to do is you want to save that. <clears throat> Next, you want to do C system CTL, uh, CTL enable. Oop. Oop. My fault. I missed one thing. There we go. So you want to do system CTL enable DHCP. This will enable it to start on startup when your server starts on uh, boot. So then the next thing you want to do is system CTL start DHCPD. So this will make so that just starts the service right now because it hasn't probably started. So the next thing is you're pretty much done with your server. You now want to. Uh, in my case right now, I'm connected to the server using a DHCP or a static IP. So I'm just going to change that here real quick so it actually tries to obtain something. And yeah, I'm going to get that error. So the next thing you want to do uh, to make sure you actually got the IP that from that specific server, you want to do IP config dash all or forward slash all. And as you can tell, I got an IP address here and it's from my server. If in my scenario, the server's address was 20.41. So I did get an address from that server. And there is the uh, DN, uh, domain name. So I hope you enjoyed this. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you all later.